again everyone and welcome back. Hopefully this video finds you well. Today we're going to take a peek at another offering from Nomad Nutrition. This is their Irish Shepherd's Pie. Uh, I do love a good Shepherd's Pie. Um, we will have to take a look at the ingredients list to make sure this is actually a Shepherd's Pie, not a Cottage Pie. Difference being Shepherd's Pie is lamb, Cottage Pie uh, usually is just ground beef. But being that it is a plant-based nutrition, as they say there, who knows? We'll go ahead and see. So we have gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, palm oil-free, interesting, and non-GMO. So there we go. And Nomad's put out some pretty good stuff. We've had a couple of pretty decent meals out of that. Uh, nutritional facts, if you're interested in those. 400 calories for this pack is not too bad. And uh, from my understanding, too, this is like the single pouch, but they also do have larger pouches as well. Ingredients list, potatoes, carrots, coconut milk, lentils, onions, peas, corn, olive oil, garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, spices, and sea salt. So I don't really know what this would be. It's not really a shepherd's pie at all, is it? It's um, a vegetable stew. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be good. <laughs> All right, so we are looking for a half a cup of water, 120 mils of boiling water there, uh, you know, stir and seal, 8 to 12 minutes on your wait time. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what it is all about. Oxygen absorber, get that out of there. Okay, that looks interesting. Mmm, yeah, tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes, man. You can definitely smell that right off the bat. So when adding the water, again, people generally do not like my disclaimers, but I say them anyway. Uh, I usually add just enough water to kind of make it look like it would when it's reconstituted, and then I'll add a little bit more. But you guys should always go off the instructions if you're kind of new to this. I've just been doing it for a while. Let's add just a wee bit more. Things like pasta. Beans, rice, usually do take a little bit more water than everything else. Just be mindful of that when you are preparing your meals. And again, I like to give it a good healthy stir to get all the corners and all of that good stuff. So we're going to seal this up, let it set. And usually about the halfway mark, I like to check in and just make sure it doesn't need any more water. And if it does, I'll add a little bit more. If not, I'll leave it be. So. For now though, I'm going to leave this be and then we'll come back and we'll taste it. Right, I think we should be good on our plant-based Irish Shepherd's Pie. Eh, I could have added a little bit more water in there, but I think this should be good. So again, this is just their, their single serving by the way, so they do have larger pouches, um, but this is what I had at the time. Okay, I'm seeing some things, flipping it around on my table. It's cool, I can clean it up later. All right, big old spoonful, let's go. Mm, okay. Hmm. There's a piece stuck on my tooth. I don't like that. <laughs> hmm. Pea. Dried pea that didn't quite rehydrate as well. That's all right. It's probably more on me than them. Um, there's a lot of flavor here. And I was looking back to see if they delineated their spices. I'm pretty sure rosemary, probably thyme. I want to say there's something citrusy. There could also be dill, I'm not sure. I doubt it, but... Spice blend is a little too much in my face. I'm just going to be honest about that. Um, it's not bad, but it's a little too much. Once I get over that, 
Mm. Yeah, like every pea didn't quite. Mm. Yep, got another one. Stuff in there too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. That wasn't a pea though. That is. Those peas are a little bullet. They're little bullets. No, but there was one that was okay. Probably could have added more water in there. God. <laughs> I got another one. All right. Yeah, that one got lodged. Okay. Look. Is this a shepherd's pie? Does it remind me of shepherd's pie? No. Not even a little bit. Um, I'm still trying to pick pieces out. But the flavor is fine. A little bit overspiced, not a big deal. A lot of times that does happen with freeze-dried meals because you try and compensate for the loss in flavor that does happen in the process of dehydrating things. Um, it kind of reminds me of stuffing. That's what it is. It reminds me of stuffing that I would put in a turkey or just eat normally because why not? <laughs> Um, but does it remind me of shepherd's pie? No, not even close. Um, shepherd's pie, I think, is one of those that I, I don't necessarily think we should continue to try and make shepherd's pie into backpacker meals because it's, it's never quite the thing for me. Stick with beef stew because that's effectively what you're making. Because a shepherd's pie, you know, you get that lamb and, you know, depending on where you're at or who you ask, I mean, like maybe some onions, some carrots, some peas, and then, you know, in a pan, then you get your layer of mashed potatoes on the top. It's a fantastic meal. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is vegetable stuffing. So I think it's incorrectly named, um, but I understand why they're doing it. Not a biggie. I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's just fine. Probably needed to add more water, so that's on me, um, because those peas were not quite rehydrated enough, and that is a problem with dried peas. That That's not the company's fault, that's, that's mine. Um, because, yeah, dried peas, if any of you have ever cooked with dried peas, or made like, you know, split pea soup with dried peas, or did anything with dried peas, you, you, guys, you guys will know. Um, but it does take quite a bit of water and takes more time. So, but yeah, this is a vegetable stuffing masquerading as a shepherd's pie. It's okay. Flavor wise, a little bit too much on the spice. I think it's a, you know, unfortunately, like I've liked a lot of what Nomad has done. This one to me seems a little bit of a, of a miss just in my opinion. That's solely my opinion. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys think. But um, just, just from my standpoint, I would probably pass on this one if it was just me. But again, not that it's bad. I just don't think it's a shepherd's pie. And, you know, with that being said, I'd rather just open a mountain house beef stew and I would be perfectly happy with that, um, you know, just going out on trail with. But again, as always, if this was all I had to eat, of course I'd eat it and I'd be happy to eat it. So <laughs> there you go. Um, in the comments below. If you guys have tried this, let me know. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on it. Am I way off uh, as always, or am I right on? Uh, just let me know in the comments below. Leave any suggestions you might have for future videos. You know I love to hear about that. If you'd like to send something in to be reviewed, the uh, email is in the description, as, or excuse me, <laughs> the PO box is in the description. There is an email down below if you have any questions or inquiries as well, but yeah, the PO box is down below. The uh, Patreon link is also down there if you just want to contribute to the channel. Not necessary, but it's there. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.